Boating is generally considered a fun in the sun activity, so if you're going to be out on the water getting cooked by photons, you might as well utilize the surface area of your vessel to capture some of that tremendous solar energy and put it to good use. Greenline Yachts was founded with a mission of preserving the environment without sacrificing comfort. Its hybrid concept utilizes best-in-class technology to create a luxury boating experience without exhaust, noise, or wake. All Greenline hybrid yachts come equipped with an electric motor that also acts as a generator, solar panels, and AC power on board. This hybrid system allows for efficient, low-speed electric propulsion with a running cost about 10 times lower than burning diesel fuel. When Greenline contacted me to go for a cruise, I looked them up and saw they were located in Slovenia, which is a bit far, but when I found out they had their whole lineup of hybrid yachts here in sunny Fort Lauderdale... Good morning, my name is Udo Willison. Uh, we are here on the Greenline 48 Hybrid. Uh, Greenline is the first and only right now production manufacturer who produces hybrid boats in the international market. We have about 1200 hybrid boats on the water, so for us it's not new. We are already in generation 5 with our hybrid system and we constantly evolve with new technology. On the Greenline 48 we have two Volvo diesels with 220 horsepower each. Uh, we have two 14 kilowatt electric motors what turn into 10 kilowatt generators. So whenever you move with diesels your electric units regenerate power to recharge the battery. Uh, as well we have solar panels on the roof what recharge the batteries and of course when you are on land and you can plug into shore power you can recharge the batteries on shore power. The range on uh, electric we say in a catalog you can get up to 20 nautical miles, but that's not the real story behind it. It all depends how much solar charging you get and how you manage your power and how you use your boat. The perfect scenario for the hybrid drive is our Indra Coastal here, where we deal with a lot of slow speed zone. Every time you have a slow speed zone, you go on electric. Every time you have a speed zone, you can switch back to diesel. So with the alternation going diesel, electric, diesel, electric, you can go all day long and use your hybrid system. Here we have an electric hydraulic operated clutch, what separates the engine from the E-unit. As soon as you are in electric mode, the clutch disengages your diesel engine and you run your electric motor through a standard transmission through the shaft. When you switch over to diesel, the clutch engages, as, as soon as the diesel starts spinning, it turns your electric motor into a generator and anytime you run the diesel through your generator, through the gearbox, you're recharging the batteries. We are located on the side, we got one battery here on the starboard side and two batteries on the port side. Greenline yachts come equipped with integrated solar panels that produce plenty of electricity to power all systems including home appliances with AC power and provide additional energy for the boat's electric propulsion system. So here forward of the flybridge you see the two standard solar panels and on top of the hardtop we have the four additional solar panels who come uh, optional with the T-top. As you can see it's a very thin, high-efficiency glass panel who are ventilated underneath, so you don't have any heat transfer from the solar panels to the roof of the cockpit. Another really nice thing about hybrids, when you go in gear, there is no bump, there is no movement of the boat. You're coming in with 400 RPMs, so that gives you a really smooth forward and reverse and a really easy maneuverability. So you see in a tight spot with the wind it's a very smooth without having the normal jump when you have a boat and you put it in gear. So you can hardly feel how it goes in gear and it's a very smooth and soft maneuvering. Bow and stern thrusters are powered by 12 volt batteries charged by the main battery bank. To switch gears into the onboard experience let's take a quick look at the interior. The 48 Fly comes equipped with a three-cabin, 
three full bathroom layout, and features furniture and golden teak veneer, and a dark laminate salon floor, and on board, this yacht feels quite spacious and livable. One of the greatest benefits to having solar panels is the ability to generate AC power on board at all times through the inverter, even without being plugged in at the marina or running a noisy generator. If the weather is sunny and you manage your power efficiently, you can live off-grid at anchor indefinitely. Assuming an average daily power consumption of about 7 kilowatt hours for all your household needs, your 1.8 kilowatt solar panel system can generate about 9 kilowatt hours per day, keeping your lithium polymer battery bank charged and your drinks cold. The coupe version of the 48 maximizes the surface area of the vessel's roof to pack in an additional 600 watts of solar panels, bringing the capacity to 2.4 kilowatts and ensuring you'll rarely need to charge from shore power as long as the sun is shining. In combination with the 48 Fly's 174 gallon water tank, this energy storage system provides self-sufficiency without being overly dependent on the marina. Oh okay, here, we are back on a dashboard and here in the dashboard we have two gauges to manage and monitor all your electrical system. So first of all, the sea marine gauge. That shows you your house battery on 12 volt and shows you your bow and stern thruster batteries, what's all on a 12 volt system. Down on the Victron color gauge, you see how much energy you consume at every time instantly. If I move the bow or stern thruster, you will see a change in voltage in the 12 volt system. And immediately you will see a change in your AC load on the boat because the battery charger kicked in to recharge your bow thruster battery. So you can always monitor every single usage of the boat from the lithium polymer or the house battery. Rooster, how far do we have to go to fly the drone? Let's take a trip to Slovenia to learn more about the construction process. Greenline yachts are handcrafted and custom made, utilizing cutting edge tooling and prototyping methods. They operate what's known as an open door shipyard. That means a customer can personally pop in at any time to monitor the building process. Greenline yachts have adopted vacuum infusion technology that results in optimal weight and stiffness, higher quality of materials, as well as being environmentally friendlier. The yachts feature a hybrid hull design that has evolved from the Greenline signature hull design called the Super Displacement. The hull incorporates some of the properties of a modern sailing boat hull in that it moves through the water with the least amount of drag. The hybrid hull maintains a low center of gravity, which is important for the vessel's stability, safety, and comfort. This balanced body enables smooth and stable cruising at higher speeds and optimal fuel consumption and stability at lower cruising speeds. In fact, the fuel consumption per nautical mile is much lower than that of a comparable displacement hull and as little as one quarter of a semi-displacement twin-engine planing boat. Greenline has developed a new fully electric drive system that's the next logical step in the evolution of sustainable yachting. It features full electric propulsion with no diesel motor. Delivery starts for new models equipped with the e-drive system for U.S. customers later this year. Greenline's lineup of yachts available in diesel, hybrid, and the new full electric drive starts with the modern classic 33-footer and extends all the way to the 65-foot Ocean Class that's built for long-range cruising. The Ocean Class 65 is capable of a full ocean crossing and is the epitome of luxury cruising with modern design and innovative ecological propulsion. Pricing for the yacht I was aboard, the Greenline 48 flybridge with hybrid drive and all the options, was 1.3 million US. So now here we are back at the dock and through all our video shooting and everything we did not run the diesel motors at all. We just used it for demonstration with a diesel but that's one of the big advantage of the hybrid. You eliminate basically 90-95% of your idling hours out of the diesel and that's the worst thing everybody knows for diesel running on idle. We believe that the future will be in hybrid and electric propulsion on land as well as on the water. We concur, Udo. And if you also believe in an electric future, 
please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We showcase cutting edge sustainable technology. You might be interested in watching one of these videos next. Thanks for watching and have a great day.